Hi, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Today I'm going to be talking about you and I'm going to be talking about me. Are you whiskey in a teacup? What do I mean by that? Well, keep watching and let's have a conversation about that, shall we? What is whiskey in a teacup? Well, it's you, and I think it's myself as well. We are beautiful human beings on the outside, beautiful women on the outside, but we are very fiery inside, aren't we? We are whiskey in a teacup. And I was thinking about all of us the other day. This is the last video that I probably will be doing. I have others that I've done that I'll be putting up, but my gear is all packed and I'm about ready to leave Nashville to go back home. And I was thinking about my wonderful subscribers and how we identify with one another in this pro-aging era that we are on. And when I received uh, Reese Witherspoon's latest book called Whiskey in the Teacup and I was born in the South and I had forgotten all about that saying about strong women and that's exactly what we should strive to be each and every day strong beautiful women but inside we've got such a fire and spirit don't we so I'm going to give you seven things that we can do and maybe you can check yourself and give yourself a checklist to see if you are this kind of a woman. Women who are whiskey in a teacup are, they speak up. They speak up not only for themselves, but they speak up for others as well. They're not afraid to have their voices heard in the conversation. They don't shy back in the crowd. If something bothers them, they say so. If they see someone else being disrespected or an injustice, they say so. And I think today our climate is so toxic and poisonous that if we have different opinions, we're really afraid to speak up, aren't we? We don't want to be shunned. We don't want to be ridiculed. And I think if we teacup women would stick to our ability to speak up, not only for ourselves but others, that shows that we are really living the best life, doesn't it? All right. Now, the second thing... Um, I want to talk about. We aren't afraid to be provocative. In other words, we're not afraid to introduce new ideas that maybe be current or new to ideas that just we happen to be thinking about. We're not afraid of ridicule. We're not afraid to shake up the snow globe of life, are we? To get those ideas and those thoughts rolling around. And I think that's what so many creators here on YouTube do, especially the mature women creators. We shake up ideas. We shake up ways of thought and ways of living, don't we? And I think that is so, so important. And the third one that I've talked about so, so often is being ageless. We do not let a number define us. We are old souls, but we are young at heart, and we have a young spirit, and we do not let anything define us by our age or when we were born. That is just not who I am, and I don't think that's who you should be if you want to live a full life. We are here. We are alive. We're not invisible, and it doesn't matter how old or young we are. As long as we feel young inside and we're young in spirit, we 
that radiates to the outside, and we are young. And what goes along with that is the next one, is to, to believe in yourself. Believe in your ideas. Believe in the way you dress. Believe that when that you deserve respect. Believe if you're in a relationship, you deserve respect. Believe if you're in a friendship, you deserve respect. And you should give that same respect back to your friend. So it's being fearless in a way to um, believe in yourself. And you also must be fearless. You must not be afraid to speak up. I think women so many times um, feel that they are afraid to be alone. They're afraid to go to the movies by themselves. They are reticent about maybe having lunch alone or even booking a trip on a tour alone. We have to realize that all of us will not have a companion every day for the rest of our lives. Uh, life doesn't always work out that way. It would be perfect if it does happen. But if it doesn't happen and we find ourselves alone, we shouldn't be afraid to venture out and try new adventures on our own. Because by doing that, we meet others who are in the same situation that we are. And, and we're not alone. We meet new friends. We have new experiences. And we don't stop living just because we happen to be alone. I think that's very hard. Probably one of the hardest things in this seven steps I'm going to give you. But once you do that, once you step out of the fear of going out by yourself and experiencing adventures by yourself. It will open up a whole new world to you. And respect yourself. Don't let others put you down. You have to respect your choice in clothing. You have to respect your choices in lifestyle. You have to respect the knowledge that you have garnered all of these years of living that has gotten you to where you are right now. So you really do have to respect who you are and when you respect who you are, then other people will understand and they will give you the respect that you deserve. It's kind of like osmosis. What you radiate from inside outwardly is a show and will come back to you. So don't ever feel that you are lesser than you are. Don't ever feel that you deserve less than you do. And the last number seven is to don't uh, commit yourself to your very best life. Uh, don't stop growing. Don't stop learning. Don't stop giving and being kind to others. And don't, don't ever dumb yourself down just because you think people are jealous of you or just because you think your ideas are not valued. Stay true to your own values and you will be living whiskey in a teacup a beautiful woman on the outside with lots of spirit on the inside. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
I, I really love each and every one of you. I, I love having you with me on this journey. Uh, as I said, I soon will be winging my way back to Miami. I have made uh, other videos that I'm going to be putting up along the way because when I get home, I'm going to have tons of stuff to do, I know, waiting for me. But remember these seven steps. Speak up. Don't be afraid to be provocative. Stay ageless. Believe in yourself. Be fearless. Respect yourself. And commit yourself right now, today, to living the best life ever. Be kind to yourself today. Please do something kind to someone who crosses your path. And don't forget to share the love. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. See you soon.